Hi, I'm Andrea Morgan. Thanks for joining me here in Burgundy, France, or Burgogne, as the French would say, for my wine tasting video series. I'm here in the Cote d'Or, which is a 30 mile long limestone escarpment that contains 33 famous Grand Cru vineyards. There are two grapes in Burgundy and the Cote d'Or specifically you want to be familiar with. Those are Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. So for our tasting today, I suggested you get a Pinot Noir. Um, France does not varietally label their wine bottles unless you're in the region of Alsace. So hopefully that didn't present too much of an issue. So let's go ahead and taste this Pinot Noir. Um, for my tasting today, I chose a Sauvigny Les Bones Serpentiers. I paid 35 euro for this in France. I'm sure it would cost more in the States. It's a Premier Cru. Notice on your wine label if your bottle indicates it could be a Grand Cru or Premier Cru. If you don't see either of these designations, you may have purchased a village or regional wine in or outside of the Cote d'Or, but still in Burgundy. Burgundy's quality wine classification system ranks and delineates plots of land by their soil. Um, go ahead and get your glass poured and I'm going to go ahead and take a sniff of this. Mm, that's gorgeous. I'm getting some really nice strawberry, raspberry, cranberry, a um, little bit of violet, maybe some potpourri. Um, Go ahead and give this a taste. I like to kind of chew it around in my mouth a little bit. Wow, that has some really good structure. And structure refers to acid sugar balance. Um, older world wines tend to uh, be just a little more lean, tart, crisp. Um, and this is just the perfect amount of ripeness of fruit uh, relative to the acidity in the wine. Um, underneath the fruit, I'm definitely getting a little bit of black tea, forest floor, a little bit of mushroom. This is typical of a Pinot Noir, and this is a very classic style. Let's talk a little bit about what Pinot Noir pairs with. You may already be pairing some foods with your Pinot Noir if you're tasting in a group of friends. Um, I actually have some Comte cheese. Uh, it's a little bit harder than what you'd get out of a lighter cow's milk and pairs better with a red wine than a white. Um, other pairings for Pinot Noir, any kind of mushroom dish, truffles, um, in terms of meat, uh, duck, goose, uh, chicken, pork, veal. Um, Pinot Noir, although it's a little bit lighter in body, referring to the viscosity in other words, you can probably see your fingers uh, through the wine if you put them under your glass. In spite of the fact that this is a lighter bodied wine, it's got some good acidity and structure, and it really does stand up to these meats. I know we've focused on Pinot Noir today, but there are some Grand Cru's here in Burgundy making world famous Chardonnay. So don't hesitate to do a tasting on your own. And next week I'll be in the Northern Rhone. Uh, join me if you love Syrah for my tasting of the week and email me with any questions you might have. Sign up for my blog, get your tasting groups together, and cheers. I'm ready to cut into this comte.